Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're dehydrating potatoes. Now I went to the farmer's market and got another half bushel and these are the larger ones so I want to dehydrate some potato slices. Dehydrated potato slices are awesome. You can make your own homemade instant scalloped potatoes you can give them out as gifts all that stuff but you can also break up just break up the slices and throw them in your latest super stew as well so it does double duty i have here a bowl of lemon water it's just water with like a tablespoon of lemon in it just so i can put my slices in in case i don't get them on the dehydrator today this can go in the fridge okay so the first thing i do is this potato has a green side on it so I'm gonna cut that off I just don't trust it but that leaves me with a flat spot and now I just start slicing about a quarter inch thick so into the water that goes I'm just going to show you what I would do with a potato that it, a normal potato okay I'm going to take a very thin slice off of one side. What that does is allows me to stabilize my potato for slicing. So, we'll visit while I do this. I uh, got a call from Lady Annabella Hetty Pasmorius. Um, she's doing a, I think she's doing a photo shoot in the area today, and so she's on her way here for a tea break, for a cup of tea. So you never know what will come up with that. Mind you, it could be just my cousin Vanessa showing up. In my family, you just never know who's going to knock on the door. Okay, you're going to want a stock pot about half full of water. I've thrown in about a teaspoon of salt just because. This stock pot lid is too big for this pot. So in order for it not to run all over my stove, I'll just put it on upside down to help bring the water to temp. Never fear, these won't get wasted. They will be um, sliced up and blanched in a different pot and I will dehydrate them separately as little pieces for soups and stews. Okay, my water is boiling. and I had to transfer my potatoes into a larger bowl but I'm just going to take a strainer and I'm going to scoop these. You can strain them if you want but I think I have too many for my pot so I'm just going to play it by ear here. Okay, now I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to bring this up, up to a boil and then I'm going to simmer it for three to five minutes. Okay, so these have been boiling for two minutes. I'm going to strain them and I'll meet you in the pantry to put them on the dehydrator. I like to put a jar over the hole in, my, uh, in the center of my tray. Now, if you're only doing one tray, folks, leave the first one empty and put a second one on top to get better air circulation. And I don't rinse these to cool for one simple reason. They're going to dehydrate anyway and it works better when they're hot. You want to let you don't want to overlap these. You want them um, to get as much air circulation as possible. So you may, you know, depending on how many trays you have, you may want to stagger your boiling. And I think it's going to take more than the four trays that I have put out. Now, when you use these dehydrators, people ask me, you know, why I use these. Well, <laughs> I just love this dehydrator. I do. Um, the fruit roll-up trays will hold liquid. The only time I need to rotate the trays is when I have more than four. The things that people ask me, what are my favorite? I say Nesco because I did my research before I bought it. Easier on price than the Excalibur. It has a thermostat. Ouch, those are hot. And a fan, which are the two main components. Like a lot of dehydrators just have an element. Not good enough, folks. To get things done properly, you want proper air circulation and you want to control the temperature. Because some things like herbs, 
you don't want to dry any more any hotter than 95 degrees or you ruin you know some of the medicinal properties or flavor properties in your herbs okay I have six tray wait a minute one two three four five six seven trays my last tray doesn't have as much so I'm gonna put it on the bottom so I might as well show you how to rotate the trays quickly because I'm gonna to have to rotate these at least once so I take them all off the tray and then I take the top one and I put it on the bottom and then I just move them all the way back up it's that simple so rotating the trays is not a big deal with this. So now I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to set it for fruits and vegetables which is 135 degrees and away it goes. We'll see you when they're done. And so here we are. Nice crisp dehydrated potatoes. And like I said if you want to put them in soup just break them up. And there it is. One half gallon jar full of sliced potatoes for this winter. You saw how many potatoes that was. That's going to do us all winter long soup, stews, and scalloped potatoes. This is the Miss Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying I got so much more to do. Take care. God bless. Say a prayer for me, will ya?